Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Janet. I'm working through the King James's Bible within one year and today we are in the book of Proverbs. Today we will be covering Proverbs 1 to Proverbs number 4. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the book of Proverbs is mainly written by Solomon because he was the king who was given the wisdom by God and his writings here are all about that wisdom. So we're going to learn some really key things about, you know, how to work alongside God and how to follow his teachings because that will always lead you to a good life. The other side is the wicked life and that we know as we have read many books now in the Bible how that goes when they follow their own path and not God's path. So let's start with proverb number one. So it starts saying that it is the fear of God that is the beginning of knowledge. So to have that fear of God really is bringing you closer in knowledge to the truth. And without a fear of God you will have zero knowledge. It says, avoid participating in things with wicked people. So anybody who you know is doing wicked things, avoid at all costs in getting involved in that. And do not consent to any of the wicked's requests. So anybody who's wicked coming at you and requesting something of you to go into that dark way, do not do it. It says, do not lie and wait to steal another's belongings and always refuse the wicked's ways because they are setting themselves a trap and that trap is by murdering their own life and soul doing these wicked things. Solomon says here that wisdom shouts and lifts up her voice to you and he says would you love foolishness and hate real knowledge? Turn to me he says like the Lord I will pour out to you my spirit and alert you to my word. So this is the Lord, you know, he will pour his spirit out to you if you listen and follow his knowledge. So really, Proverb 1, as we come to a close here, is saying that it's healthy to have a fear of God because this brings true knowledge and wisdom. So that's Proverb 1 in a nutshell. Now we move on to Proverb number 2. And this is all about what will happen if someone looks for wisdom and knowledge. And so this proverb kind of goes through a process of saying, if you do this, then this will happen. So fear God and you will receive his saying and his wise words. So if you honestly and earnestly are seeking God, you will find him and what you were seeking will be revealed. And you'll be rewarded with wisdom, with knowledge and understanding. God would also protect you and guard you on your path of integrity and justice. You would live forever and God will deliver you. So that would happen to those seeking God's wisdom, God's knowledge and God's understanding because God owns all true knowledge and wisdom. And this is worth way, way more than gold, than silver, than jewels and all of those things. Anything in the world that you could desire you want to be desiring God's knowledge and wisdom. And that is how we close proverb number two. Now proverb number three. Solomon explains here the extra benefits of acquiring wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And he's teaching here people to do specific things if they find true wisdom. He says when you find wisdom, many, many years will be added to your life. God's relation with you also will be so much better between you and with man. You'll have far more abundance in your life, far, far more than gold, silver and jewels, you know, because you've got this wisdom that is way, way more valuable than these material things. Because wisdom in itself brings riches and honour. Wisdom equals peace and happiness to all those who find it. It says God created the earth with wisdom. God created the heavens with understanding and he broke all the waters with knowledge. Finding wisdom brings life to your soul. You will sleep far more peacefully and sweetly, it says, and you'll never fear the wicked. 
because God's path equals confidence. And if you're wise, you'll trust in God with your heart and he will guide you. Turn away from all evil, honour God and give him the first of everything that you produce. Because God is there to discipline us. It also says in this proverb, do not withhold good from those that it's due to. So anybody who are due goodness, give it to them. Don't withhold it from them. And don't hurt your neighbour or fight with whoever has not done any harm to you. Don't envy the wicked, it says, as they are cursed. Remember, the wise will be honoured in the end and to trust in God. So we end proverb number three really with the meaning saying to seek wisdom and don't forget that it's precious. So that closes proverb number three and now we move into proverb number four which is where Solomon is teaching his son all about wisdom and he's saying pay attention so you can gain wisdom. Never forget these words or teachings he says. Gain wisdom at all costs. Wisdom will guard you. Wisdom will protect you. It will honour you and it will bring grace to you. A crown of beauty and life to those who hear. The path of the righteous equals a morning sun that is brighter and brighter with every passing hour. Whereas the wicked path is dark and they can't see. He says, watch over your heart. Put away deceit and filth from your mouth. He's telling his son, keep the wicked words far away from you. So don't curse or say all of those wicked words. He's saying, keep those far away from you. He says, look straight ahead. Don't look right. Don't look left. Look towards God only. And this is where we close proverb number four. So that's our four proverbs for today from Solomon. Wise words, something that we can all take on board in our lives, you know, to listen out for the wisdom of God, for his understanding and for his knowledge that will be coming to us all differently. But we've got to stay quiet and really seek it and know that we've sought it because when we do seek it, our lives will advance, our hearts will be happy, we will feel joyous, we will know when we're walking the righteous path. So, that is what this book is starting to show us already in just four Proverbs. And I'm looking forward to reading more. So thank you for your time. I'll be back again with more in the book of Proverbs soon. Take care now. Bye.